We will demonstrate how to connect the peristaltic pump tubing to the peristaltic pump and show you how to adjust the tension. Check the direction of rotation of the peristaltic pump as indicated by the arrow on the pump. Note the installed position of the tubes. When facing the pump, the drain tube is on the right. The sample tube is on the left. And the sample tube for the internal standard solution is in the middle. Hang the upstream drain tube stopper over the top of the peri-pump. Stretch the tube over the rollers and hang the downstream drain tube stopper underneath the peri-pump. Recheck the direction of the peristaltic pump rotation and confirm that the drain flows toward the drain vessel. Clamp the tube by dropping the lever. Hang the upstream tube stopper over the top of the peristaltic pump. Stretch the tube over the roller and hang the downstream tube stopper underneath the peri-pump. Recheck the direction of the peri-pump rotation and make sure the internal standard flows toward the nebulizer. Clamp the tube by dropping the lever. First, connect the two sections of the sample tubing to the peristaltic pump tube. Shorten the sample tube as much as possible to reduce the sample switching time. Hang the upstream sample tube stopper over the top of the peristaltic pump. Stretch the tube over the roller and hang the downstream sample tube stopper underneath the peristaltic pump. Recheck the direction of the peristaltic pump rotation and confirm that the sample flows toward the nebulizer. Finally, close the tube clamps. Place the end of the sample tube and the internal standard tube into pure water. Set the peristaltic pump speed to 0.1 RPS and the carrier gas flow rate to 0 liter per minute from the Mass Hunter screen. In analysis mode, check that pure water is reaching the nebulizer. Also check that excess water is draining from the spray chamber. Liquid and gas should be discharged alternately from the spray chamber. To adjust the clamp tension, first loosen the clamp tension until the water flow stops. Next, slowly tighten the knob until the pump draws up the water again. Finally, tighten the sample knob and internal standard knob an additional one to two turns, and the drain knob two to three more turns. <laughs> 